Hi, in this video I'll teach you how to build a custom tool in Unlayer Dashboard. So I have my browser running with two tabs. The first one is the sandbox project that I just created in Unlayer. And in the second tab I have a code sandbox set up to test and run the editor for our sandbox project. Whenever you are creating a custom tool, make sure to pass in the right project ID. So let's get started by creating our first tool. Uh, go to the Tools tab, click New Tool. For this video, we'll create a simple text tool where the user can modify properties like color and type their own text. To create a custom tool, we need a name, slug, and an icon. And we need to choose whether this tool works in web display mode or email display mode or both. So we'll call this tool test and pick a font icon and we want it to work in both modes so let's check both. Now that our tool is created let's go back to the code sandbox and see if it's there. So it's there I can drag and drop it it shows hello world but that's pretty much it I cannot change the text or the color or anything because we haven't added any properties or property editors yet. So let's go back to our dashboard. Here you see four tabs, template, CSS properties, and property groups. Let's talk about the other ones later, but for now we'll add a color property. We have a lot of built-in property editors like text input, image uploaders, toggles, but for this one we'll pick the color picker. And we'll add the default color to be black. And we'll save it. Now if we save the tool and go back to our sandbox, refresh it, we should be able to pick the color but it wouldn't change the text color because we haven't really used the property in our template yet. There. So now let's go back and use the color property in our tool template so we can see the color change. I'll add a div HTML tag with an inline style with the property variable that we created. This variable color is the same as the property name that we chose. In this case, it was color. If I rename it to text color, I'll have to rename the variable in the template tab to be text color also. Now let's save it and go back to the sandbox, refresh. This time when I change the color, it should reflect on the hello world. There. So we have a fully functional tool with a color picker and the color being changed. Now what's missing is that I still cannot change the text. It still shows hello world. So let's work on that. We'll add a property for the text input. This time we'll pick the text property editor and we'll change the default value to be hello world. Save. Now we'll go back to the template step and remove the hard-coded hello world and use our new variable for the property. Let's go back to our sandbox. This time when I add the custom tool, I can see the default value hello world and I can change it with our new text input. I can also pick a color. So there we go. In less than five minutes, we have a custom tool that takes user input and updates the content. This was a simple example to demonstrate how powerful and useful our custom tools can be. You can build something much more advanced. We are excited to see what you build with this. Good luck.